You know, everybody, I've, I had a speech going, and uh, it, first of all, what we're going to say is it's a definite honor to be in the 2019, 2018 Hall of Fame, with, especially with the class I've got. But everybody says, you know, just I, for, for all, I started two nights, can't sleep, sitting up here trying to think what you're going to say to everybody, and it's the toughest thing you'd ever say. And everybody says, well, just be yourself, it's easy. It's the freaking Hall of Fame, guys. It's the toughest thing you've ever done. I, I don't even know where to start to begin. All I know is I got to thank my wife, Lindy, both the kids. Uh, I got to apologize to both my kids for missing half their sports, what they've done when they're growing up, just to, just to let me, my dreams come true. Thank you, both of you, for, for the wonderful grandkids you gave me, all five of them. And thank you for everything you guys have done to support me. I know I'm getting raspy, but it's, it's, it's from the bottom of my heart, each and every one of you out there has become a friend, and I don't even count you as a friend. I think you're all family because it takes each and every one of you guys to put a race car together, to, to polish the floors, to answer the phones, to everything. But it took a wife like mine, Lindy, when I married her in 1979, she says, quit working on everybody's race car, build your own race car. So what kind of wife do you got there right there tell you to build your own race car? Lindy, love you to death. You, you kind of heard most of the story uh, up there, but I'm, I'm going to hit, hit some brief points of it, of just the first couple of years of running out of Valley Fairgrounds, and it's definitely a long way from there. And uh, it just snowballed over the 1991 championship, going down to the last race. Exhaust pipe comes through the windshield. Rick and Crayley and I are battling tooth and nail. Uh, my, my year was done. I just, we, Lindy and I just started crying and saying, that was every penny we've ever had. We're never going to go for another championship. Lord and behold, Rick Crowley blows a tire on the last lap. Daryl Walter, he probably went around the thing. I think Daryl Walter won it. And hell, I, those guys got me out with the last five laps of the race. And I stopped about 20 feet from the start finish line. And the guys were just going, go, push it, push it. So I pushed across the line. I said, what was that for? Did it win the championship? They said, we won a championship no matter what, but we never got a DNF. So I wanted you to see if you can push it. <laughs> but nobody knew that we had no shifter in the car and it was stuck in gear and we burned a clutch out of it. So. That was just one of the moments. And the next year, we said, we're not going to do this again. It just took so much time. But, but in the middle of that whole thing, we had Palmdale Chiropractor in a car. And I looked at Bob Fisher, and I said, why are you sponsoring our race car? You know, we, we travel to Eureka. We go to Bakersfield. We're you know, hours away from your business. How could you sit there and waste your, your, your money and your time? Because nobody's going to come get their back cracked. And he says, Ron, someday you make it to Daytona. I want two tickets there. The day Dale Earnhardt said, I'm going to Daytona. Bob and Anita Fisher got tickets to go to Daytona in a hotel room. <laughs> it's just one of the stories. And that was, that was the easy part as you're going through. But the second year, 92 championship, how we won two or three races, et cetera, it's a way where we started to buy tires. It, it went on to uh, the winter heat. I mean, it, it went on national television with ESPN and Ken Square, everybody just talking about it. And it got the eyes of Dale Earnhardt and got that phone call. Then uh, he said, hey, you want to drive my truck? I said, man, I'd love to. So I got that opportunity to do that. He says, well, I'm going to send you a plane ticket. I need you tomorrow. I said, well, I can't. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm racing this weekend at Tucson. We got the last race. He said, well, you want to drive for me or you want to race to that weekend? I said, well, Steve Nestroll, Sammy Gonzalez, a lot of great friends. And both, both, both lost them to, to cancer. And uh, I wish they were here with us because they're, they're dear to my heart. But uh, we started racing for Dale. And we got that phone call. And... Uh, you guys didn't hear the story about everybody hanging up on him. I thought it was Larry Nassin. Hey, this is Richard Petty. Is Ron Horley there? Well, they kept saying it was Dale Earnhardt, so they kept hanging up. It's like, no way it's Dale. So they hung up the phone about three or four times. So finally we hooked up. Long story short, race for Dale. If it wasn't for Napa coming aboard, Dale said, told Napa, we can win some championships. You come aboard. Thank you, Napa. Thank you, everybody involved with the Napa team. It's been, it's been unbelievable. Fast forward. Kevin Delana. I mean, I, I don't, Mr. Mr. Childress, a lot, lot of great races, won a lot of races with you and nationwide, did a lot of ride hopping. Dave Carroll, you, you name it. Mr. Hendricks didn't have a job, gave me Ricky Strzok to run Daytona all through the thing. And it's all of a sudden, Kevin Harper called me and says, what are you doing? I said, none. He said, you got a job next year? I said, I'm look, talking to Joe Custard right now, we might be running nationwide. He said, you come drive my truck for me. I said, you got a truck team? OK, cool. You know. Him and his dad came down, we went out to dinner, or I should lunch or wherever we went, probably had a beer somewhere. <laughs> all I know, we were all done and said it was on a, on a napkin, and I thought, wow, that's cool. I went home and told Lindy, I had to go talk to Fred. And if anybody knows who Fred is for Kevin Harvick, there wasn't nothing written on the same 
same pap napkin or went on that same contract. But those winter hit days uh, with Gary Johnson selling my Fluidine race car for $52,000 so we buy our first house down in, down in uh, Lake Norman. Perfect, thank you, Lenny. Lake Norman. Sleeping on, I'm not the one that started this whole deal with people sleeping on the couch. I got to sleep with Doug and Robin Richards for the first year of me moving down to North Carolina. So thank you, Doug Robin. I uh, learned a lot about cats and dogs living at your house. <laughs> I can sit up here and, and go on, but a great year with Kevin Delana. They, they rejuvenated my career. Uh, Joe Danette, uh, the millionaire, won the lottery, sponsored me. Unbelievable. My last die cast in a truck was with Joe Danette. It's pretty cool. Thank you, everybody. This is uh, for every short track racer who ever had a dream, ever had a heart, ever believed in anything that you can believe in. This is it. Hall of Fame, and what a class I'm in with. Ray, everybody, thank you for so much. And I know I missed everybody. Family, love everybody, thank you. God bless, hold on, NASCAR, thank you all for Japan, Mexico, Canada, you name it, we went there. The only one I want to thank you for is Mr. Childress and I and a lot of the drivers went to Iraq and seen what our troops do for us. And we can't say, it, say enough of what they do. So my hat's off to our military, praying for all of you. Good night.